It's a nice bass. Oh my. <laughs> oh, get zoomed. <laughs> How in the heck is it going, everybody? Hope you're all having a great day. Pretty excited about today. One, because tomorrow is opening day of early goose and teal season. And two, because this video is hands down the biggest largemouth that we've caught all year. Tried a new lake, one that we've ice fished quite a bit. Never caught a bass ice fishing, but figured lake's named after bass. There's probably bass in there. Went out and, uh, well... Might as well just show you what happened. Without any further ado, here is the video. What do you got there, Alex? Bass. Is it a bass? It's a bass. That's the bass I just had on. Yeah, it is. Oh, I almost had one. Now he's turning a little bit. Oh. Oh, buddy. Not a bad bass. A little bass. Not a terrible bass. First bass on, on this lake. Right where I want to grab him by the jaws. Uh, top left of them. Oh. oh, good fish. Bass. Okay. Pike, it's gotta be. It's way too feisty to be a BS. He was right. He was right on the bank, dude. Well, as soon as I start thinking that we're gonna have to catch him deep, I catch that one five inches off the shore. I threw it so close and I pulled on it, it was kind of stuck. I'm like, oh god, I definitely snagged something. Dang, a nice little BS. Nice little BS. Yeah, that's good. Let's get another one of them little BS. He fought good though. Pike. Is that on the crankbait? Yep. That's definitely a pike. Could be a walleye. Could be a walleye. Oh, I thought he got off. Is it a walleye? Pike. It's a nice pike. Not bad, brother. Oh, he's mean. He's mean. Nice pike. That is a good, that's a good pike. Okay, bud. Just for, oh, you're running off again. <laughs> Oh, Alex got a bass. Acro bass. A little decent one. On the Sanko. Yep. Under the boat. Oh, yeah, decent one there, bud. Oh, the Sanko's gone now. Oh, it's all right. Are you sure? <laughs> you hit it twice, I'm going to say Pike. It's a walleye. Is it? No, it's not. It's a bass, actually. It is a bass. It's a nice bass here. It's a nice bass. Oh my! <laughs> oh, get zoomed! <laughs> that's almost my rod. I don't even care. Oh, oh, oh my! Atlanta. All right, we're gonna be more gentle. With oh. Yeah, we'll take a photo of that one. That's that's the biggest largemouth I've seen in a while. Letting probably the biggest largemouth of the year go here. Mm. See you, bud. <laughs> he was sitting like right up in this pen these little pencils. Yeah. Oh yeah, under the platform. Oh big one. Nice bass. Oh he's skirting. Oh he's in the motor. Good little bass, good little swim jig bass. Sorry, bud. You almost got away with the rod there. Oh, huh. Would you look at that. See? Little pike. That is a little pike on the cranker. Yep. Wow, that's a good fish. High quality fish. Oh, he's on there. Oh, he's a big one. Second biggest. Nice big bass. That's like the one at Johnson. Oh uh, no, that one was a little bigger. I think we have two shotguns in 
Two shock and blast hook sets. <laughs> That's a good little spot there, bud. Come on, BS. Can't resist a swim jig. Feels nice to come out to a lake you've never bass fished before. Catch not only some bass, but catch an absolute donkey in the mix. Good fish. No, not a good fish. He felt like he was a good fish. Yeah. BS though. Another BS. Gosh, I hate when they do that. Like, ow. I should have. Oh, sorry, bud. Oh, oh we're good. Oh. You're a poop dollar. Not a half bad bass lake. Definitely gotta be not one of that log though. You think? I went to grab that fish and he flipped up and just put his whole back fin across the ball of my hand. Right, switch back this way. Oh. That's not good. No way is this a fish. No, you got a huge Oh fish. my Good God. <laughs> I thought I was a good timber trout fish. Jesus, dude. That's not even a timber trout, that's a tree trout. Look at that, bro. <laughs> oh, look at that trout. oh my gosh, dude. The fact that I'm even able to move this right now. That's a state record timber trout. <laughs> Inland Lake Timber Trout, clean release on it, probably a 10 footer. I, I think that's 12. 12 footer, yeah. It's like an almost a length. Oh my back. God, but when I set the hook on that thing and it moved, <laughs> oh, I about pooped myself. Big pike? No, it's another pike. Cranker? Yep. Oh, pike are hanging out deep. Okay. Okay, okay. I'm gonna drop it. All right, everybody. Well, hope you enjoyed that quick little video. We'll still be making fishing videos, but not with the consistency that we have been throughout the summer and the spring. It's waterfall season as of 12.01 a.m. Tomorrow morning is officially here. So our goal, I think we brought like 16, maybe like 18 duck hunting and goose hunting videos from last year. Hopefully, hopefully now that I'm graduated and we have a whole lot more time to go hunting, Hoping, fingers crossed, we'll be able to uh, bring you twice as many waterfall hunting videos. But thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you so much for your support. Give us a thumbs up, thumbs down, whatever you're feeling. We know you all already have, but if you haven't, hit that subscribe button. Leave a comment. We love talking with you guys. And those comments also enter you for life into our giveaways. If you're interested in making a donation <clears throat> to our nonprofit, huntersforlife.com, down in the description. That's also where you can purchase t-shirts. And if you're from Michigan, Wisconsin, or Minnesota, shoot us an email down in the description or a message on Instagram, down, also down in the description. And we will send you a free t-shirt, part of our little mitten movement thing we're doing. But once again, thank you guys for your support. Thank you for watching. As always, happy adventures.